Rich Report, a podcast with news and information on the world of high-performance computing. Today, my guest is from Texas Memory Systems. We have Eric Eiberg. He's a senior analyst for the company. So, Eric, welcome to the show today. Hi, Rich. Thank you very much. Well, Eric, you know, I, I was, I'm glad you could join us. I'm really excited to hear more about this notion of bootable flash. So uh, can you tell us more? Sure, absolutely. Um, today, TMS is announcing the ability to boot off of our Flash PCIe products, including the RamSan 70 product. And we think that this is going to make quite a splash, especially in the HPC environments, because this allows you to simplify and consolidate your architecture around Flash. And we'll get into exactly what that means later in the presentation. So we'll start off with a little bit of background, um, and we'll talk about the, the TMS product line, where our PCIe Flash fits into that portfolio. And we'll also define the problem, so talking about why it's so difficult to be both native and bootable. Then we'll come to our announcement of providing bootability with our native PCIe Flash, and we'll talk a little bit about the significance of that. TMS products include a variety of SAN, rack mount SAN flash storage systems from our RAM SAN 630, which delivers 10 gigabytes a second of bandwidth out of 10 InfiniBand or fiber channel ports, down to our RAM SAN 72820 platforms, which are new 1U enclosures that go to 24 terabytes in 1U. And those are the larger scale systems, but for many problems, we find that customers want direct attached storage. And that's where our PCIe product comes in. The RamSan 70 was introduced in May of 2011, and it has proven to be a solid competitor in the PCIe flash market. It's our second generation PCIe flash card, and it utilizes SLC flash with a capacity point of 900 gigabytes. That's the card we're going to be talking about today. And that card is a full height, half length PCIe by Gen 2 card. So this is something which fits into most standard servers and provides nearly a terabyte of flash capacity that you could use for checkpoints, you could use for metadata, you could use for key database tables, and really just about anything that needs high IO performance. Going a little into the details of the way the RamSan 70 works, we like to describe it as a system on a card. So when we initially developed our PCIe platform, we took our external storage systems and scaled them down to where they would fit into a server, inside the server, with lower power consumption, reduced number of controllers, and of course, a direct PCIe interface. But what we didn't remove from those platforms is the intelligence. So the RamSan 70 and the other Flash PCIe cards we make include onboard Flash management controllers, including a PowerPC CPU, as well as DRAM and multiple Flash FPGAs. That allows us to accomplish not only amazing performance, but also outstanding reliability through our variable stripe RAID algorithm, which protects data stored on each set of 10 Flash chips inside our PCIe card. There's also power fail protection, and again, that extremely high performance. This product has been out on the market for about a year and very successful. But the problem is, these native PCIe flash storage devices, like the 70, give you great performance and reliability, but you can't boot off of them yet. So users still have to deploy traditional SATA or SAS storage devices as boot devices when they want to use the native PCIe flash. So that means you're deploying double the storage infrastructure, but most of the time that boot device is just sitting there, taking up space and power. Well, today we're pleased to announce that we have solved that problem. But before I get into the details of the solution, let me define the problem a little bit more by defining native. Native PCIe flash storage, in our minds, 
means there are no legacy disk interfaces. No SAS, no SATA, no SCSI, nothing like that inside the card. And that also means that we aren't taking a collection of, say, two and a half inch SSDs connected inside without cases or anything like that, or running external cables using SAS or SATA protocols. There are no SAS or SATA RAID controllers. And again, it's something where there aren't these legacy disk interfaces. That, that's the secret to high performance and high reliability in PCIe Flash. There are several vendors who provide native PCIe Flash storage. TMS is one of them. Fusion IO is very prominent, Virident, and a few others. Now let's define bootability. This should be very familiar to your, to your readers, um, but just to make sure, bootable PCIe storage is capable of being initialized by the BIOS or other firmware inside of a computer and loading an operating system. Typically that other firmware is something like EFI, which is what we support particularly. And traditionally, bootability is accomplished with a standard SAS or SATA RAID controller of some type. So it's just like booting off of a hard drive where the BIOS knows how to talk to the SAS or SATA RAID controller and allows your computer to boot off of it in that way. The problem with that approach is that SAS or SATA limits performance. You don't get the performance of a native flash interface when you're talking to it like a disk. And there are many vendors who provide bootable PCIe flash storage, again, which do not have the native interface, things like LSI, OCZ, and a few other vendors. So what we're announcing today is that TMS, RAMSAN, PCIe flash storage systems are now bootable. So that means that we take native flash access and pair it with bootability to get the best of both worlds. This announcement applies to the RAMSAN 70 SLC flash storage device, as well as the RAMSAN 80 EMLC PCIe flash storage device. The bootability support is allowed on most current servers with UEFI 2.1 or later, and it's available as a free firmware update. You don't need to change your existing hardware if you've already got our PCIe cards. It's just a straightforward firmware update. If you're considering buying one of our PCIe cards or a set of our PCIe cards, just be sure to request this feature during the sales process. And we accomplish this bootability without resorting to legacy disk interfaces or emulation of, of a SATA or SAS device or anything like that. So why is this important? Well, like I mentioned, native PCIe flash gives you high performance and high reliability. You get faster internal interfaces and fewer abstractions. You also get tighter integration between discrete components because you don't have to constrain yourself to standard disk interfaces in the design of the product. That gives you more flexibility and it makes things like variable stripe RAID possible. Bootable PCIe flash delivers efficiency. Now customers don't need to purchase RAID controllers, hard drives, or any other legacy hard drive infrastructure inside their server deployments. And for customers who are considering large volume deployments of flash-powered servers, the effects just multiply out. TMS believes that having a bootable native PCIe flash storage device delivers the best of both worlds by delivering the performance and reliability of native PCIe flash and the bootability, or, I'm sorry, and the efficiency of bootable PCIe flash. And we're pleased to make that announcement today. Well, thank you for that, Eric. So a uh, question about you know, the HPC world, right? So this, I mean, wh why would this be important to people with these big Beowulf clusters, do you think? Sure. So. We see this as important because it's a way to further reduce costs. If you're thinking about going to flash storage already, well, there, there's a cost associated with that. Why pay more for an additional set of hard drives that you're just going to boot off of when you could get it all from the flash that you're already purchasing? And like I said, the effects multiply out at scale, too. So, Eric, I've been using a, a flash-based laptop, a MacBook Air, for um, like a year now, and it's, uh, it's amazing to me the speed difference it boots off a, a flash device. Um, 
for a server, would would it, there be a, a similar kind of a performance increase where, where you could boot up in a matter of uh, seconds? Yes, there is a performance benefit to using Flash as a boot device. However, most of the servers these days with the I.O. performance that we can deliver would spend more time, say, initializing their RAM than they would booting their operating system. So it's, it's kind of, it, it is an improvement, but it's not going to be a game-changing improvement for most of the servers out there because they already take a while to boot up. So, so Eric, uh, would you foresee like system vendors kind of packaging this together um, with these bootable devices to, uh, you know, to, to deliver uh, turnkey clusters? I think that's a completely reasonable uh, statement. I think that there are lots of interesting ways to integrate Flash into servers. And now that TMS is, is offering a bootable PCIe Flash storage device, I think it's, it's a more compelling part of the complete solution. Well, terrific. Well, Eric, I want to thank you once again for coming on the show today. Thank you very much, Rich. All right. Okay, folks, that's it for the Rich Report. Stay tuned for more news and information on high-performance computing.